that a lot of you commented uh, or sent me messages that you enjoyed my last nail care video and I was planning on doing some things with my nails today so I thought I would film it since you enjoyed it before I'm not going to be painting my nails any specific color um, as you can see they're kind of different lengths. This one is super long and then this one's shorter and they're, they're not as strong as they could be because I have been painting them so frequently and so my plan is just to do some pampering of my nails and use some different products to hopefully help them out, um, make them healthier and stronger. And uh, yeah, so just like last time, I have already used my fancy nail polish remover. another round of that glitter polish that I put on last time. So it takes quite a while to get that off. Glitter polish is always like that. long they're supposed to go for. I guess some um, until you feel like it's not working anymore. Step one is done. Um, as I did before, I have one of my brushes. my nails because there are still little pieces of glitter left on them because glitter just stays on everything. specs off of there so they can be really bare. That's my goal. I don't, I don't know how possible it is, but once it feels nice. said this at least once, but I am super new to having nice nails. I don't even know if mine would really be considered nice. To me, they're like the best nails in the world, but that's because I've always ever bitten them and they've been really gross. This shorter one is longer than any of them that I ever previously had. So I do find that I don't have naturally strong nails. Um, I don't take 
week and supplements as of right now for them, but I hear really good things about some of the um, hair, skin, and nails supplements. So I may have to try them out. Um, but yeah, I, I find that it is necessary for me to use products to um, keep my nails strong and from breaking up and being brittle and things like that. This, by the way, is a contour brush <laughs> for makeup. So I'm just turning it into a multi-use tool. square, which is, um, I don't know why it's wet, but it is. Um, so, this, if you've never seen one of these before, but if I have, you probably have. Um, there are four sides. Side one evens out your nails. Side two smooths out your nails. Side three your nail, and then side four shines it. So, um, just a disclaimer to everyone, I may or may not, and emphasis on the may not, use this appropriately. <laughs> um, I have no training, no anything on how to do nails. what I, I don't know, feel is right, or maybe what I've possibly seen somewhere, so if I make like a grievous nail mistake or failure, you can correct me, but I am very uneducated on this, so it's not going to be, don't take this as like an educational video, it's more just me filming me messing around with my Assuming the evening out means like the uh, the different like ridges and notches that sometimes develop on your nails. Makes sense. is the first side for his hand. The second side is smoothing the nail. I have no idea how, how long you're supposed to do this for. like 
of you out there right now like you know you're doing it wrong and I, I probably <laughs> I'll get all the loose powder from buffing part of my nail they already do look You can see like the marks that it's made from like taking off a layer and then this one is perfect. I mean it definitely makes it look shinier but then there's one specifically for shining. I don't know. I just follow the steps. And then the final one, shining it. This is, but these nails are now, like, see that sheen on them? That these ones are like more dull, and these ones are like rays of the sun are coming out of them. But they're still not very strong, they just look better and shinier. in my last video this which is the Nutrinail mineral um, solution and it is the power growth and it is a greenish color as I stated in my last video this has worked very well for me so I continue to use it and I continue to buy my nails strong because they're not naturally strong. So I have tried a variety of different products and found this one to be very reliable, giving me the results that I want. It does last a while too, which is really How crazy is it that it is the first day of May? Because it feels like like April flew by, right? Not only that, but I read somewhere yesterday that yesterday was halfway to Halloween, which I didn't realize was kept track of, but I guess when it comes to the internet, there's, I mean, some people 
celebrate their half birthdays, so I guess if you're really into Halloween, you would, you would know about that. where I live, it poured rain yesterday from the minute I had gotten up to probably like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. So, as they say about April showers bringing May flowers, I think um, that was about as literal as it comes. have a um, garden space in my backyard. I haven't planted anything yet. Last year wasn't the first time that I tried it, and for the first time I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I grew tomatoes and um, little baby pumpkins, <laughs> which I actually was able to put out for Halloween, so I grew my own decorations, and um, uh, green peppers, which turned out really well. The only thing was, um, I had a ton of cucumbers that bloomed all over the place, and then I didn't really grow any cucumbers, so I think I'm not going to include We'll see. So that's pretty much dry. And then I am going to introduce a new friend, which is this. And it is also by Neutrino. And there really isn't much of a difference, I don't think. This is also a power growth treatment. Um, but it's thicker and more of like a, a milky color than the other one. And instead of being a brush, it is a dropper. It's very delicate. just tell because I've been painting them, but I haven't been putting any treatments on them. They are starting to revolt against me, so I really want to focus this time on treating them and not worrying about and strong, so it's important to take care of them first and then worry about whether or not they're pretty. <laughs> so I'm just going to rub this in and around the skin around my finger. It's definitely a lot. more of a serum than a liquid, like the other one's very thin. So I'm just going to see if I like this one and maybe add it to my regimen. See how long it takes it to dry. Because it, it is pretty thick.
friend is the uh, Kentucky Derby and I don't know if any of you are really into that or not. Um, I'm not particularly into it as like a huge fan or anything but there is a race course near me that it only has um, real racing maybe three times a year. It's sort of old and out of style, but you can go there anytime and watch races from, I guess, around the country. Um, and they have machines where you get bit on the horses. And uh, so usually around the time of a big which is only like a couple times a year, but a big national race will go and put like 10 bucks on a, on a horse <laughs> and then come home and watch it because usually it's really busy. So I am going to have to find out what the horses are named because um, I, I just, I don't know. I don't really put a logic into it. Um, I don't tend to pick whoever is has the worst odds, but I kind of just go with if I think some one of the horses is a really funny name or a cool name. I just basically based on Sometimes I'll pick one horse based on the name if they have awful odds, and then one that is more favored to win, so that I actually feel like I have a chance. So I'll probably be doing that this weekend. So that seems to be pretty dry, and my nails on this hand obviously could have been really what I've done are very smooth and shiny and have two sets of treatment on them. So hopefully they will be growing and not only growing but being stronger. And uh, not fraying or breaking or anything like that. The last thing I'll do is, for some reason, the label on the front of this was taken off and I have no idea why, but there is still the label on the back. And this is my favorite lotion. It is the Vaseline Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant Lotion. Um, and it has pure cocoa butter and something really like complicated called Stratus 3, which sounds like a spaceship, which apparently is multi-layer moisture. And it says that it penetrates deeply, infusing moisture at the top, core, and deep down layers igniting skin's natural glow at the source. Um, it says that it comes in three varieties, which is Aloe Fresh, which is a light feeling lotion for healthy fresh skin. Um, Total Moisture, which is a clean feeling lotion for healthy soft skin. And this one, which is the Cocoa Radiant, and that is Rich Feeling Lotion for Healthy Glowing Skin. Um, I like it because of the, the richness and also because of the smell. It smells really good. And there's lotion lying all over my house. But I always look for this one. It's my favorite. 
So, what I'm going to do is just moisturize my hands a little bit. Kind of just give my hands and my nails and my fingers a full experience of just being at home. And moisturize and really feeling good. really hope that continuing to take care of my hands and my nails like this will really help me to maintain them being longer and stronger and lasting. So that I can continue to get better at actually painting them and enjoying them and tapping on stuff. I tap on everything now that my nails are long. People probably look at me like I'm crazy, but I know that you guys understand because you love tapping as much as I do. But I I would be like looking at a lotion in the grocery store and just like while I'm reading it. well blended into my hands and I will I've already spent a half, a half hour on this hand so I think that I will um, say goodbye to you guys and do the other side um so I have a clothing role play that is going to be coming up soon that was by request and um Otherwise, it would be great if you want me to request any role plays um, because I keep trying to be unique and I feel like I keep on thinking of the typical ones like a travel agent or something like that. The other thing is that currently at the desk that I'm sitting at right now in my office. It's sort of like my craft desk or small studio space for videos. And I have a, um, a variety of art materials, like some canvases, paints, brushes, um, pastels, and markers. So I'm trying to think of a way to incorporate those because I know that they have really, really great sounds. So I don't know if it will be a role play or maybe me painting something. I really don't know. But um, either way, I will continue to come up with ideas for videos. Please feel free to send me ideas, um, especially for role plays that you would like to see, so that I know that I am making um, something that's going to be appreciated, especially if I take the time to make it. Some of them do take a while to plan out and things like that. So. Being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I apologize if I have horribly offended any nail artists, and um, I hope to talk to you guys soon.
Thank you so much for